10 ways to effectively save for the future. What did you learn about personal finance in college? Credit investing? Money management? Or did you only take the courses that were mandatory for you to graduate? Well, for most people, these classes were more or less pointless, like calculus, astronomy, and anthropology. The longer I've been out of college, the more disappointed I am about how much information was not included throughout my studies. The world tells us to get educated, get a job, and all will be well. But unfortunately, it's not that simple for you to succeed in the world. You need a lot more about money than what school will ever give you. Personal finance forms the backbone for all success stories to save you from the hustle and bustle of having to learn from your mistakes. It is much easier and more enjoyable to take the income, the money you have earned and worked hard to receive, and spend all of it every month purchasing whatever you want and not thinking about the future. The problem when it comes to money is that we just aren't planning and putting away enough. But before that, hello and welcome to Money IQ. Join our channel by hitting subscribe and clicking the bell icon to be updated on our new uploads. That's a pity because there are so many reasons to save for our future. The future doesn't just have to be retirement. The future is tomorrow. Saving means allowing a break from the paycheck to paycheck cycle or allowing for a big purchase down the road like a vehicle, vacation, or house. Living paycheck to paycheck surprisingly isn't just something that happens to those earning lower incomes, but to anyone unable to create a budget and follow it, in addition to making savings goals and reaching them. So, what are the specific steps for saving? Once you realize the importance of saving and the role that it plays in your life, creating goals is the next step to stay on track. Part of setting financial goals is making sure you can meet them. You can use an online savings calculator, for example, to make sure your needs align with your plan. Armed with the education and tools to create realistic goals for your money, it is time to find and dedicate the money to reach your goals. Number 1. Make a budget The first thing you need to do is have a budget and stick to it. This includes being realistic about your household financial situation and setting honest and attainable numbers corresponding to your spending so that you can save. Saying you will save and thinking about saving is not enough. You will have to be intentional about what to do with your money. Number two, understand the concept of cash flow. You need to understand cash flow what it is, how it works, and what your personal household outgo looks like. Review your income and expenses and see where your spending habits lay. Be intentional about making changes to things you can in order to have money available to save. Number three, work with your partner. If you are married or live with someone, communication and teamwork concerning your household finances are crucial. To save, you both need to be on board with your desires, plans, and resources. The best laid plans without everyone on board will meet turmoil. Number four, distinguish between want and need. Understand the differences between needs and wants and identify yours. Be able to say no when something doesn't align with your financial goals today and in the future. Number five, make it automatic. Automate savings so the money stays. If you wait until the end of the month to save, the likelihood will be that there's not much left to save. Make it automatic and have money deposited straight out of your paycheck or have a portion go into a savings account whenever you make a deposit. If you have a few savings objectives, you can track the money you put into each account and put it through one account or use a few different savings accounts open for various goals. When you see your savings growth, you're more likely to keep it there. Number six, do a review. Sometimes we do not even realize what we are spending each month until we examine it. Review everything you pay for. What are you buying that you might not need? If you do need it, is there a way to get it for less? Number seven, look for places to cut. What expenses or items can you cut to enhance your savings goals? 
there are five key areas to review for opportunities, including energy and utilities, food and groceries, banking and credit card fees, taxes, and auto expenses, for example, gas and insurance. Number eight, think of the children. Also, take into consideration your children. It is incredibly important to teach them about savings and spending. It is also crucial to set an example. They mirror your behaviors and will take your lead on the role of money in their lives. Some essential lessons include waiting to purchase something you want, saving, identifying specific ways for children to save, making wise choices, and understanding that when money is spent, it cannot be spent somewhere else. Number nine, start now. Remember that whatever the goal is, start now. Something will always come up and compete with your resources. Saving for the future should stay in the forefront of your mind and your finances, regardless of whatever else comes around. Number 10, enjoy life. Yes, we've been preaching the virtues of discipline, belt tightening, and resisting instant gratification. But everyone is only human. Recognizing the importance of savings doesn't mean you can now and then spend on things for fun, relaxation, celebrations, or just for the hell of it. But be sure to build the occasional splurge into your budget. At the bottom line, the above strategies will help you stick to a budget and save for your goals, all while allowing some budgeted fun. Remember, a goal without a plan is just a wish. Write it down, create a time and opportunity, and make it happen. A cheeky like and subscription will be very much appreciated if you did enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll catch you again next time right here on The Money IQ. Bye-bye!